What was Lamarckism? Welcome to our journey through the fascinating concept of Lamarckism. While it has been largely replaced by Darwin's theory of natural selection, Lamarckism played a crucial role in shaping our understanding of evolution. Number 7. Evolution Theory in the 19th Century Lamarckism is a theory of evolution that was proposed in the early 19th century by Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. It attempted to explain how species change and adapt over time. The concept of Lamarckism is based on two main principles, the inheritance of acquired characteristics and the theory of use and disuse. While it was eventually rejected by the scientific community, it played a crucial role in shaping our understanding of evolution and continues to be a topic of interest in modern research. Number 6. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck Jean-Baptiste Lamarck was a French biologist who is credited with formulating the theory of Lamarckism. He was a renowned naturalist and his work greatly influenced the field of biology. Despite his contributions, Lamarck faced a lot of ridicule and criticism for his theory, and it was only after his death that some aspects of his theory were revisited and reevaluated. Number 5. Inheritance of Acquired Characteristics The most famous aspect of Lamarckism is the theory of the inheritance of acquired characteristics. This proposed that organisms could pass on traits acquired during their lifetime to their offspring. For example, if a blacksmith developed strong arm muscles, his offspring would inherit those muscles. However, this theory was later disproved by the discovery of genetics, which showed that only traits coded in the DNA could be inherited. Number 4. Theory of Use and Disuse Lamarck proposed that organisms could acquire or lose certain traits based on their use or disuse. For example, if a giraffe continuously stretched its neck to reach leaves on tall trees, its offspring would inherit a longer neck. This theory was later debunked, as it did not consider the role of genetics in inheritance. However, the idea of use and disuse did pave the way for the study of epigenetics, the study of how environmental factors can influence gene expression. Number 3. Progressionism. One of the fundamental principles of Lamarckism was the concept of progressionism, which stated that species evolved towards a more complex and perfect form. This idea was in contrast to Darwin's theory, which proposed that evolution is a random and gradual process. While progressionism has been largely rejected, it did pave the way for the idea of evolution and contributed to the development of modern evolutionary theories. Number 2. Rejection and Criticism Lamarckism faced a lot of criticism during its time and even after Lamarck's death. Many scientists argued that the theory lacked evidence and was based on flawed assumptions. One of the key criticisms was that Lamarck's theory did not adequately explain the mechanism of inheritance. This ultimately led to the downfall of Lamarckism and the rise of Darwin's theory of natural selection. Number 1. Modern Perspectives Although Lamarckism has been largely rejected by the scientific community, some aspects of the theory have been revisited and reevaluated in recent years. Some researchers propose a combination of natural selection and Lamarckian mechanisms, while others argue that Lamarckism may have some validity in certain contexts. However, for the most part, Lamarckism is still considered an outdated and incomplete theory. And that concludes our journey through the key aspects of Lamarckism. While it may no longer be a widely accepted theory, it still holds a significant place in the history of biology and continues to spark interesting discussions and debates. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoyed learning about this intriguing concept.